I want to get into it right now. So the first thing I got, first of all, this was on sale a couple days ago. I want to say it was Monday. This was, this is originally $20 and it was on sale for $10. Uh, this is the Bosha Baby Soft Foot Peel with Alpha Hydroxy Acids and Food Acids. Basically what this is, it's an exfoliating agent. There's a lot of liquid in a bag. You put your feet in it, you, um watch netflix whatever it's from something for like 60 to 90 minutes i recommend 90 minutes but basically on the back it shows you that it exfoliates um your skin and it does take up to i want to say like three days i was going to say three days this, day. this takes up to about two weeks to peel mine took probably up to 10 days um my skin got really 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 hard i actually just recently went over this so i received it from a friend and then i bought this on sale i should have bought two because they're originally 20 bucks i don't think 20 bucks is a is a bad price but getting it for 10 was even better if you got your hands on it shout out to you because honestly this is like amazing we're going into spring summer i feel like once may officially gets here i'm gonna start seeing toes more often i'm already seeing it now and it's a little odd to me but you know the next thing i got um this was also on sale as well this is the origins checks and balances the other day i went in um during a week where i was just kind of feeling stressed and i was like shopping just like in the city I, I really shop a lot online but um i was just shopping in the city and i passed by an origin store and i was telling a lady about my skin and you know she gave me a little a little um like mini facial and she used this on me and i love it i think it's very important to um use a face wash it doesn't have to be this, this is honestly like really good price this is 23.50 i got it for 11.75 um i think it's important to use a balanced cleanser because that is usually what once you use something that is like you know the glycolics and the oil control and all that kind of stuff i feel like that throws off the ph levels in your face which causes breakouts it could be different for every per every person everyone is skin types are different mine i feel like i have learned that if i don't keep my skin balanced the breakouts happen often i have is the glow recipe watermelon glow ultra fine mist this is the hydrating glowing radiance um i don't know really what even pushed me to get this i think i like the mist <laughs> i don't want to use it yet because well actually fuck it <laughs> let's use it let's see oh mm. she smells like straight up a jolly rancher like like oh she smells so good this is gonna be amazing everything that i have i feel like is gonna benefit me in the spring i like it if you guys have been watching my channel for a while then you know that when it comes to skincare and makeup i like to transition with every season fall spring summer winter you should get things that are going to benefit that and i feel like this mist i was really hesitant because i was like i don't understand why it has ha's and all stuff and it's hydrating and i want something that i could throw in my bag that is going to just keep me hydrated sometimes i just like a mist you know i love my car leave but i ran out of it and i just feel like i could switch it up try something new um the reviews are really good i love that when you mix it up you get that straight watermelon in it. it's a really cute packaging and i love that it's a mess, like, mm, 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 mm. So the next thing I have, which I already talked about in another video, this is the Milk Hydro, Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I have used it before. I just was waiting till I got everything together so that I can, like, show you guys. I really do like this primer. I will say that, um, you know, it's a product that I feel like is definitely gonna help the dry to combination normal people i feel like if you're oily you may not like it and i am combination combination um it doesn't smell like anything you do need about 60 seconds to let it fully get it like evaporate and like super sink into your skin which i really like so i don't personally like it on my forehead because like i said i get oily but for the rest of my face it kept my foundation on all day so i think what i'm gonna do is just use it like for this half um literally one pump should be enough for your whole face i personally would recommend waiting about two minutes so maybe you put it on and do your brows really get in there 
fine tune your brows maybe start the like primer or eye whatever like base you use for your eyeshadow and then eventually you know you'll get into your foundation Next thing i got which is like super important to my like my spring and summer essentials just having regular old blotting sheets these are about eight bucks um i also think i think this is 34 i'll leave it in the comment in the uh description below i think it's 34 or something like that it might be 30 but this is eight bucks this is a blotting sheet i got the one with the calming natural tea tree and it just because like i said i'm a breakout prone person i like these around my nose and on my forehead and lately i've been extremely oil on my forehead and the rest of my face has been really like almost like dry and so i just want something to keep the oil at bay i like that there's a hundred sheets i will probably you know finish this up by the summer and then keep it is the copacabana bronze glow oil i know you're probably wondering why are you buying the patrick ta if you're you have this i don't like that there is no pump on it that is so millennial like crazy of me but i don't really care i'm really excited oh, i didn't open this yet I'm waiting to like it's a really nice day to open this sucker up and really get like bronzy but like I want to look like a fucking trophy very convenient all right so we are gonna talk about dude I honestly be forgetting I get certain things and I was like what did I spend $60 on all right so if you don't know twice a year which I think is so amazing for years um Ulta has had this 21 day, um, 20 days, 21 days of beauty. Bought another setting powder. But I really, really love powder, if you guys don't know that. <laughs> and one of my favorites is this Derma Blend. I had it a long time ago when I think either, what was it doing? It was either Ipsy or maybe, I don't think it was Birchbox, it was Burt. Maybe it was Birchbox because that was years ago, but it might have been Ipsy because I know. Oh no, I had a Sephora. It was either Ipsy or Sephora Play. And they sent me a mini and I drowned that bitch to the motherfucking end. Like, honestly, I was like super zupa. Duper, duper. Oh my god, it comes with a powder puff. So I was like super into the powder. Like, I used it all the way. This is the way. This is not properly closing. It's annoyingly but i'll get past it anyways so it's normally i think 28 dollars and i got it for 14.50 um it's one of my favorite setting powders i used it to the end it was in a favorites a couple years ago or a couple months maybe like a year ago uh, it was one of my favorites and i just couldn't pass it up it's really really great the other colors weren't on sale but i was okay with it i know you're thinking oh my god this is white but i just really like this powder it's honestly reasonably priced even if you don't get it for I mean, it's too late anyway, but if you don't get it, I think, and compared to, like, your Laura's, your Makeup Forever's, you're going to spend around 40 It's nice that there is something that's under 30 and that it works effectively. I do love that it came with a little puff. I've never seen a puff like this more, like, it feels more cottony. So I'm excited to get back into it at this point. This is, like, my 10th setting powder. Clearly, I have an addiction. It's one of my favorites. Um, I also got the matte finish um setting pop setting spray from nyx i haven't used this in so long and i was excited because um i think this was like seven or eight bucks and because i haven't used it in a long time i was missing i feel like i don't have a setting spray that like i enjoy like there aren't any setting sprays that i have that i'm like i really am excited about i'm tired of using like this is bothering me i'm tired of using um settings or using mists as a spray because i feel like that is disrupting the makeup and that spray that i just talked about a little while ago i just i just don't see myself using that on top of my makeup i feel like before it will be muy fire the this was on sale for like seven bucks this is the nyx professional makeup micro brow pencil in the color brunette i'm super excited about this because i have a pencil that i had from college i know that's insane i graduated two years ago and a makeup kit it's like a dark brown it's like a black brown and it's from benai and i would use it sometimes but i honestly hated it i used it because it was like nah Oh, I was gonna say I thought there was no product in there but this is what it looks like um this is the color I don't really like dark brown the dark dark brows but I like something that has like the undertone of brown so that when it it comes up on my skin that it still has some color because I don't want I don't like the whole like super black effect and I've honestly never tried this pencil I feel like 
I'll get a good use out of it. And this is this is seven bucks. I was like, no. And then I would say the thing that I was the most excited for um, were the last two things. I looked at something. I was like, damn, I ordered that. I totally forgot. I'm like, this is what I spent sixty dollars on. I have never owned any blush from Bare Minerals, so this is the color Invisible. This is the Bare Minerals Invisible Glow. So it's a powder highlight, and it's for the dark deep. And it was so pretty online. I was like, this is literally for my brown skin um invisible glow and i just thought it was so cool the packaging looks scratched i don't like that i hope it's not used nope it's not the plastic is still on it oh it's so pretty i feel like on the website obviously it looks pretty oh, wait, so on the website it looked just like this like look how beautiful that is i cannot wait i love wearing orange i love looking bronzy in the spring and the summer and really playing up my actual skin tone. up satin lipstick from dose of colors i don't own anything from dose of colors i see that they're cruelty free talc free paraben free and they're also vegan and the color i got is called a toast i think i got this because i'm still like sick to my stomach that i lost my favorite pencil from morphe and i'm always on the hunt for new like i want to wear the most glamorous basic girl makeup all summer long and she's a beauty this is how much product you get in there okay i feel like i'm gonna use this all summer long um i like the packaging that it's like what is this like rose gold i'm gonna bring that. okay so this is the color and i'm gonna just swatch it oh i'm gonna love her she is a peachy but I think with a brown liner, she will look amazing. I'm super excited about that. I realized when I made this purchase that I haven't bought a lip product in so long. Um, I do want to talk about my last uh, couple of products that I got. But it wasn't from this actual shipment. But it was Ulta, so I was waiting to talk about it. Um, I've talked about it in another video. But I repurchased the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the Medium Dark 34. Um, I had another color i like um probably like like two or three years ago it is in the pinkier family i use this to sort of highlight when i want like a brighter under eye it is like super bright so i like that i have it because i think a lot of my concealers are too from too close to like my actual skin tone and then my fenty one is like a little bit of a pink too so i like having a couple options for concealer it's like my thing um i really like this i actually like this on the eye as well as a base but instead of buying another like urban decay primer or something like that i actually got the mac painterly um this was six bucks this was on sale for ten dollars i think the color pop is always six dollars and then this was 19 as if i didn't mention that um and then this is the mac painterly this usually goes for 22 i woke up at seven o'clock in the morning to get this for 11 bucks i know that sounds so extra this was 11 bucks it retails for 22 dollars i bought two of them because i was like what if i love them and then if i hate it i, I opened one I was like, what if I hate it? I could return it, you know, but I have enjoyed it a lot. I feel like it has kept my shimmers on and it's kept my oily eyes at bay, which I like so, 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 so much. So I bought two of those and then I got fat. And then I think that was all that I got from Ulta within the last like week or two. And then I will go through what is in here. It's just, I, which I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't ask me if I wanted a sample, but I got, um, with my Dermal Blend purchase, there was a sample of a insta grip jelly primer from dimmer blend uh three in one and i'll probably use this soon just to like get it out of the way um and see if i really like it, it says it's moisturizing as well uh fragrance free and non-comedogenic and skin sensitive skin tested and allergy tested so i'm excited to try that and that wraps up my ulta and sephora haul thank you guys so much for watching my channel I'm so excited to use these products. I hope you guys are having a great spring. Treat yourself to things that you want. Don't feel guilty about them. And enjoy your motherfucking life. I will see you guys next time for my next video. And I'm enjoying so much being consistent. Pray for me that I continue to do that. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Don't forget.